yours is really good. Talk, yeah. talk to them about the super base thing. Yeah, cool. I mean, I think in general, uh, so this is 100% a shout out to Shell, S Shell, Justin Reinhardt. Yeah. I did not find this, but when he messaged me, I was like, oh, that's so genius because I've tried yeah. to test super base related apps. Oh, so anyone who doesn't know what Superbase is, basically it's like a managed Postgres that has a whole bunch of like default functionality, like RBAC control and all this. And nearly every AI app these days, like, you know, new startups, or if you use like bolt.new or V0, a lot of them are using Superbase under the hood. And they'll even mm -hmm. like sometimes have a button that's like enable Superbase, integrate Superbase. Like, so it's baked into so many of these new AI apps. Anyways. Their API calls for pulling stuff back often use a format where it's like equals EQ dot and then like a UUID and then that will okay. fetch some object. So it might be a user object. It might be a conversation object. It might be whatever you name it. Right. And I had tried putting in other UUIDs from other places in the app, like, you know, cross user testing and that sort of thing. And if they have row level access turned on, it doesn't work. And so, um, you know, I've found like where row level security is disabled and I've reported that to some, some people. But um, one thing that I, for some reason, had never thought to try that Justin found, which is amazing, is just doing LT. So less than or GT greater than, and then putting in a UUID that's like, like GT dot, and then an all, all zero UUID or mm. LT dot all nine, nine, nines UUID. Right. Um, actually, that's I guess so what, weird what that the, it processes it like that because it's like UUIDs aren't. Yeah. They're not numeric in that way. Yeah.